All around the world, frozen corpses are starting to poke through the snow and return to be amongst the living. Unveil the icy veil of time and join us on an extraordinary journey through frozen wonders. Our planet holds more secrets than we can fathom, and the frozen depths of ice have become a treasure trove of ancient mysteries. From ancient relics to jaw-dropping discoveries, the changing climate has gifted us incredible glimpses into our past. Brace yourself for some of the most mind-blowing finds hidden within the icy embrace of permafrost. From the revival of an ancient virus to the preservation of a mammoth's brain, join us as we delve into the chilling allure of 15 of the most incredible things found frozen in ice. Number 15. Otzi, the Iceman. Over three decades ago, experts made a remarkable discovery when they found a well-preserved body lying face down on the ice. This exceptionally preserved body came to be known as Otzi the Iceman. Found on the edge of a lake at an altitude of about two miles in the Otztal Alps between Austria and Italy, Otzi became the most famous mummy discovered in Europe. At first glance, Otzi appears to be nothing more than a grim and horrifying mummy. But further examination by experts reveals that there is much more to this ancient individual. He lived over 5,000 years ago and was a man of short stature, standing about 5 feet 2 inches tall. He was 46 years old when he died and primarily used his tools with his left hand, a rather uncommon trait. If he were alive today, he would have worn men's size 8 shoes, he had type O blood and was lactose intolerant, and though his eye color remains uncertain due to the passage of time, it is believed to have been either brown or blue. He suffered from various health issues, including a rare genetic anomaly that resulted in him having only 11 pairs of ribs, one less than the usual 12. His body was covered with sores, his teeth were filled with cavities, and his intestines contained harmful parasites. In his final days, he had a hearty meal of einkorn wheat, red deer, and ibex. Unfortunately, this diet contributed to the earliest evidence of heart disease ever discovered. Tragically, his demise was the result of a sinister act. Researchers found a cut between the thumb and first finger of his right hand, suggesting he was stabbed a few days before his death. Despite attempting to defend himself, he was attacked again several days later with an arrow that struck an artery in his back shoulder, causing his swift demise. When he fell and perished, warm summer winds dried his body before natural ice encased and preserved him, leading to his remarkable discovery by modern scientists. Number 14. A Century-Old Battle Step back in time to a century-old battle, frozen in the chilling embrace of the Italian glaciers, hidden away until the 1990s when the relentless grasp of global warming began to melt the ice around the beautiful town of Paio in northern Italy. What ensued was nothing short of a mesmerizing historical revelation. As the ice receded, it yielded a treasure trove of artifacts from bygone eras, offering a glimpse into lives long past. Among the trove were poignant love letters, intimate diaries forgotten by time, and rather grimly, the remains of valiant soldiers who had perished in the White War of World War I. Remarkably, this unique battle had more casualties attributed to the climate than the actual fighting, a rarity in wars dominated by guns. The unforgiving cold and treacherous avalanches claimed more lives than the battlefield, resulting in the tragic loss of thousands of young men, many mere teenagers, on the unforgiving mountain terrain. During this haunting conflict, the harsh conditions and continuous hostilities meant that numerous bodies were left unclaimed, lost to the merciless mountains. Yet as the melting process continues, more of these brave soldiers are being unearthed and their stories and sacrifices are gradually brought to light. In 2004, an intrepid local mountain guide stumbled upon three Habsburg soldiers, their resting place undisturbed for decades. Historians, driven by an insatiable curiosity, delved deeper, uncovering an entire cabin miraculously preserved beneath the ice. Inside, an assortment of ammunition boxes, steel helmets, and discarded clothes spoke of the soldiers who once braved the horrors of war in the snow-covered mountains. Among the trove of artifacts, the most touching discoveries were personal items like weathered photographs, 
fragile newspaper clippings and remnants of trench art. These tangible connections to the past not only enrich our understanding of history, but also bring solace to the families who have waited in longing and uncertainty for so many years. Number 13, 48,500 year old virus. In a groundbreaking achievement, researchers recently accomplished an extraordinary feat by reviving a 48,500 year -R old virus that had been entombed in ice. While the term zombie virus might trigger concern, rest assured, there is no reason for alarm. This fascinating discovery emerged from the exploration of ancient pathogen samples found in the Siberian permafrost, a treasure trove unearthed due to the changing climate and thawing ice. Among the plethora of revelations, nearly two dozen viruses emerged, with 13 being entirely novel pathogens frozen for millennia. Captivated by this unique opportunity to delve into our past, a collaborative team consisting of scientists from Russia, Germany, and France embarked on a captivating journey together, eager to bring this ancient virus back to life. Thus, the term zombie viruses was coined, igniting curiosity and some public apprehension. Nonetheless, it is crucial to comprehend that these reanimated pathogens do not pose significant health risks to humans. Their primary targets are amoeba microbes, rendering them harmless to our species. However, as the icy grip of permafrost loosens and ancient layers melt away, there lies a subtle potential for a virus capable of infecting humans to unexpectedly resurface. Thus, diligent research is underway to thoroughly study these enigmatic viruses, aiming to grasp their nature and potential implications fully. Understanding the past will be instrumental in mitigating any potential risks that might arise in the future. Number 12. Marcelin and Francine Dumoulin On August 15, 1942, a Swiss husband and wife named Marcelin and Francine Dumoulin left their home to go milking and never returned. The couple, who lived a simple life with their seven children, Marcelin working as a shoemaker and Francine as a teacher, seemed like an ordinary family without any conflicts. The disappearance of Marceline and Francine was a perplexing mystery to their children, who had no knowledge of their whereabouts and remained clueless about the incident for many decades. Despite tirelessly searching for their parents until old age, the children had no luck in finding them. It was not until 75 years later that the mystery was finally unraveled. A worker on the soft Loren Glacier discovered two remarkably preserved bodies near a ski lift above a resort at an altitude of 8,600 feet. The freezing temperature of the area had kept the bodies well preserved, even after so many years. Both the man and the woman were wearing clothes from the World War II era. DNA analysis was conducted to confirm the identity of the deceased, but the Dumoulin children were certain that the bodies were those of their parents. One of the daughters shared that her mother had never been involved in such an excursion, as she usually stayed at home and wasn't adept at climbing. Experts believed that the couple may have fallen into a crevasse, rendering them unable to climb out, eventually succumbing to hypothermia and starvation. The couple's bodies, along with their clothes and bags, were found in astonishingly intact condition within the glacier. This discovery finally brought closure to the decades-long mystery surrounding the disappearance of Marceline and Francine Dumoulin. Number 11. Mount Uyayako's Mummified Children The historical account of Mount Uyayako reveals a solemn and tragic narrative. Over the years, numerous individuals, totaling at least 300, have tragically lost their lives in their perilous attempts to conquer Mount Everest. Many of these unfortunate souls have been left stranded on the frozen mountain for prolonged periods, resulting in the preservation of their remains for potential decades or even a century. However, amidst the chilling discoveries on this mountain, an extraordinary find emerged. The mummified remains of children in Argentina, now known as the Children of Mount Uyayaco. Despite the affectionate name given to them, their lives were far from joyous. Through meticulous analysis of the three children's mummies, a heart-rending tale of their plight within their tribe was uncovered. Of the three children, the oldest was a 13-year-old girl, found in a peaceful, curled-up position. Recent research suggests that these children were subjected to human sacrifice, deliberately left on the freezing mountain as offerings to their deity. 
likely a god revered by their tribe. Such practices of ritualistic sacrifice were prevalent in the Inca civilization. Interestingly, the 13-year-old girl stood apart from her peers during her final years. She was granted privileges reserved for the elite of her time, including a diet consisting of meat, alcohol, and coca consumption. These indulgences might have contributed to her being in a disoriented state in her last days. Additionally, the discovery of two even younger mummies alongside the 13-year-old girl adds further poignancy to the heart-wrenching nature of these sacrifices. Number 10. P-38 Aircraft In a captivating tale that spans decades, we find ourselves transported back to July 15, 1942, when six valiant P-38 fighters were on their way back to Greenland. Their journey took an unexpected turn as they encountered a relentless blizzard, forcing them to execute an emergency landing on an icy field, nestled amidst the rugged expanse of a Greenland glacier. Fortunately, all the crew members were saved from peril, but regrettably, their aircraft, along with seven others, were left stranded amidst the unforgiving elements, slowly becoming enshrouded under an astonishing 268 feet of snow and ice. Fast forward 50 years to the year 1992, a remarkable event took place, as one of these P-38 aircraft lying dormant beneath the icy embrace for so long was meticulously extracted and lovingly restored. Much to everyone's astonishment, it was found to be in remarkably good condition, showcasing a resilience that earned it the illustrious name Glacier Girl. Yet the tale doesn't end there. The year 2011 beckoned a new chapter. A team of intrepid experts embarked on an audacious mission to unearth another of these buried World War II warbirds, carefully hidden within the icy depths of Greenland. Armed with cutting-edge technology, they utilized ground-penetrating radar, ingeniously mounted on drones, to meticulously navigate the labyrinth of ice and locate the elusive treasure. Their efforts paid off as they successfully pinpointed another legendary relic of the past. Remarkably, Despite being interred for such a significant period, these P-38 fighters are far from being mere relics of history. Rather, they embody the undying spirit of human engineering and can still be lovingly restored to their former glory. As living testaments to our shared past, these aircraft represent invaluable historical artifacts, each holding within its frozen embrace a treasure trove of stories waiting to be told. Number 9. 10,000-year-old Atlatl Dart. Picture an arrow, sharp, swift, and pointed towards intrigue. Now let's venture into a realm of astonishing proportions, where the longest arrow you've ever seen seems minuscule in comparison. Imagine an Atlatl, an ancient, ingenious weapon combining the features of an arrow and a throwing spear. This formidable projectile device once propelled using a lever-like tool possesses the remarkable ability to achieve unparalleled distance and power. Interestingly, it is believed to predate the conventional bow and arrow setup, showcasing its sophistication far beyond even modern darts used by today's competitors. Unraveling the mysteries of the Atlatl and its historical significance, researchers have uncovered compelling evidence of its ancient existence. Delving into the past, they unearthed an extraordinary find in 2010, a melting patch of ice in the majestic Rocky Mountains of North America surrendered a glimpse of antiquity. Nestled within the icy embrace was an atlatl dart, whispering stories of times long gone by. Carbon dating revealed its age to be a jaw-dropping 10,000 years old, presenting an unparalleled window into the lives of our ancestors and their remarkable ingenuity. The discovery of this ancient atlatl dart has left researchers captivated, unlocking doors to an epoch when human ingenuity and resourcefulness knew no bounds. As we traverse the vast expanse of time and space, we find ourselves enthralled by the echoes of history that resound through this awe-inspiring artifact. This is merely the beginning of an immersive journey, where we shall tread further into the labyrinth of the past uncovering more enigmas and marvels that have the potential to reshape our understanding of human evolution and the mastery of our ancestors. Stay tuned as we embark on this thrilling expedition, embracing the secrets and revelations that await us. Number 8. Woolly Mammoth In August 2010, a groundbreaking expedition marked the beginning of a remarkable journey into the depths of history. 
Amidst the frozen expanse of the Siberian permafrost, a team of experts stumbled upon an extraordinary find. The exquisitely preserved remains of a woolly mammoth dating back an astonishing 39,000 years. This awe-inspiring discovery, affectionately named Yuka after its location near Yukagir, Russia, granted us a rare and captivating glimpse into the ancient past. Yuka's mummified carcass, estimated to be a young mammoth between six to nine years old at the time of her demise, offered an unprecedented opportunity for scientific inquiry. Her remarkably preserved brain, a true rarity in such ancient remains, became the focal point of researchers' fascination. This extraordinary artifact allowed scientists to delve into the mysteries of a bygone era, pondering whether these ancient giants possessed intellectual capacities akin to their modern-day elephant counterparts, known for their exceptional intelligence and problem-solving abilities. Among the many mammoths unearthed in history, Yuka's case stands out as particularly special. Her intact brain offers a tantalizing glimpse into the cognitive potential of these majestic creatures from eons past. Previous discoveries provided only fragmentary insights, but Yuka's brain opened up an entirely new frontier of exploration. With this exceptional find, scientists have started to draw intriguing connections between the intelligence of the woolly mammoths and their modern-day elephant relatives, indicating that these ancient behemoths might have shared similar cognitive traits and social behaviors. As researchers continue to meticulously study Yuka's remains, they are unlocking a wealth of knowledge about the complex behaviors and cognitive capabilities of these captivating creatures. The clues hidden within her preserved brain are offering unprecedented insights into the world of the woolly mammoths, enriching our understanding of their place in the ancient ecosystem and paving the way for even more thrilling discoveries in the future. Number 7. Grasshopper Glacier Nestled 70 miles southwest of Billings, Montana, near the majestic Beartooth Mountains in the United States, lies an extraordinary natural wonder that demands our attention. It is a glacier like no other, perched at an impressive altitude of 11,000 feet above sea level, boasting an enigmatic grayish hue that sets it apart from the conventional white or off-white glaciers. Some liken its distinct color to the skin of an elephant, adding to its enigmatic allure. But the true marvel of this glacier lies within its icy heart, giving it the moniker Grasshopper Glacier. Concealed within its frozen depths lies an astounding secret, an unimaginable number of entombed grasshoppers, or more accurately, locusts. This frozen graveyard of insects is a sight both mesmerizing and mysterious, drawing the fascination of countless observers. The origins of this captivating phenomenon have been a subject of intense speculation. Among the prevailing theories, one story stands out with both intrigue and grandeur. It recounts an event that may have transpired centuries ago when a colossal swarm of locusts set out on a daring migration over the towering Rocky Mountains. However, nature had a different plan in store. A fierce and unexpected winter storm swooped down, ensnaring the entire airborne insect multitude in its icy grip. With no escape possible, the hapless insects plummeted onto the glacier's icy expanse, ultimately becoming buried beneath the relentless snowfall. As the eons passed, the glacier slowly formed and cradled these entombed creatures in its frozen embrace, preserving them in a time capsule of astonishing proportions. Though the precise truth may remain shrouded in the veil of time, the Grasshopper Glacier stands as a truly unique and enthralling attraction for those brave enough to witness its frozen, insect-filled wonders. It beckons adventurers, scientists, and nature enthusiasts alike, inviting them to marvel at the fascinating mysteries of the natural world. Number 6. Iron Age Tunic In the awe-inspiring Norwegian mountains, a team of experts has unveiled a truly remarkable discovery an ancient Iron Age tunic that transports us back in time. Crafted with remarkable skill from wool, this exquisite piece of clothing has defied the ages, miraculously preserved despite being entombed under layers of melting snow. This enthralling find holds profound implications for our ever-changing planet and its climate. As the Earth's temperatures continue to rise, the relentless melting of ice stands as a stark testament to the ongoing environmental shift. 
The tunic's emergence from its icy tomb serves as tangible evidence of this transformative phenomenon. Determined to unlock the secrets held within this ancient fabric, the diligent experts meticulously examined its structure and the intricate techniques used in its creation. Their relentless pursuit of knowledge even led them to embark on a fascinating journey of recreation, attempting to replicate the garment's construction. In stark contrast to today's easily accessible clothing, during the Iron Age, owning such a tunic was an invaluable and treasured possession, symbolizing status and craftsmanship of the highest order. In an unexpected twist of fate, the researchers' exploration of the tunic's surroundings yielded even more riveting discoveries. Among the frozen relics of history lay bow fragments and an arrow from the Neolithic period, dating back approximately 6,000 years. These ancient weapons offer tantalizing glimpses into the lives and skills of our prehistoric ancestors, hinting at a captivating narrative of survival, conquest, and ingenuity. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. It's time for today's discussion. In Alaska, along the frigid waters and chilling winds of Point Warrensoff near Anchorage, what they found frozen in ice surprised the whole world. Scientists found 85 remarkable sculptures. These sculptures, created by artist Sarah Davies, endure the harsh weather while poignantly representing the struggles faced by people worldwide who persevere through illness or disorders. Sarah Davies, the talented artist behind these haunting installations, dealt with undiagnosed fibromyalgia for years, causing her immense musculoskeletal pain, mood issues, and heightened sensitivity to pain. In her darkest moments, she found solace in isolating herself and channeling her emotions into her art. The sculptures, strikingly lifelike, hold a powerful message. As the sun sets, they appear even more authentic, conveying the depths of human perseverance and strength despite the challenges posed by the cold. While these artworks are brilliantly crafted, their resilience is also being tested by nature's forces, evident in the signs of wear that some of them are already showing. Would you be interested in visiting Point Warrensoff, Alaska, to witness Sarah Davies' lifelike sculptures in person, despite the challenging weather conditions? Drop your answer in the comments below. Number 5. 32,000-Year-Old Seeds in an extraordinary archaeological revelation that has captured the imagination of researchers worldwide, a collection of seeds, astonishingly dating back a staggering 32,000 years, has emerged from its icy slumber and resurrected into the present day. This momentous discovery unfolded in the most unlikely of places, buried deep within the frozen terrain resting 124 feet below the permafrost layer amidst a captivating fabric of ancient bones. At first, the prospect of coaxing life from these time-veiled seeds appeared implausible, even to the most seasoned experts. The challenge loomed like an insurmountable enigma, and skepticism mingled with curiosity as the scientific community grappled with this tantalizing puzzle. But driven by an unyielding determination and guided by meticulous care, a dedicated team of scientists delved into the delicate process of extraction and nurturing, embarking on a quest to defy the confines of time itself. And defy they did. With unwavering dedication, the ancient seeds were carefully ensconced within vials, a cradle of protection wherein they were tended to with loving precision. As weeks turned into months, Hope intertwined with anticipation, until finally, nature rewarded their patience with the emergence of a tender, thriving plant, adorned with enchanting blooms. Though seemingly humble, these delicate blossoms bear the weight of decades of rigorous research and herald a momentous leap forward in the art of seed preservation. This remarkable triumph has kindled a fire of revelation among scientists, illuminating a path towards safeguarding our planet's precious botanical heritage. Insights gained from this unprecedented feat have spurred the development of pioneering methods for effectively preserving seeds, thus igniting a beacon of hope for the preservation of our diverse flora. The reawakening of these ancient seeds has fostered an unwavering passion, propelling humanity's unyielding quest to protect and cherish the wonders of our natural world, ensuring that the legacy of these resilient seeds endures through the ages. Number 4 a 57,000-year-old young wolf puppy. 
In 2016, archaeologists made an exciting discovery in Canada's Yukon Territory. A young wolf puppy frozen in permafrost, dating back a staggering 57,000 years. The individual who stumbled upon this remarkable find was Neil Loveless, a miner. Although he didn't uncover a precious gemstone, what he found was even more extraordinary, the oldest and most well-preserved wolf mummy ever discovered. Neil Loveless carefully extracted the wolf mummy from the permafrost and stored it in a massive freezer until experts could examine it. Through thorough analysis, they determined that the pup was a young female who lived during a time when American mastodons roamed Canada. The locals named her Jur, which means wolf in the Han language. Back then, the Arctic glaciers were receding, and the environment around Canada was becoming warmer as the snow melted from the grasslands. This change introduced new life to the environment, with camels, beavers, mastodons, and gray wolves occupying the woodlands. Jure's DNA indicated that she was a descendant of wolves from both Alaska and Eurasia. Interestingly, today's wolves in Yukon have a different genetic signature, suggesting that the gray wolves that lived there tens of thousands of years ago were entirely wiped out and replaced by other wolf populations from different regions. Number 3. A Graveyard of Fish Lizards In 2014, a group of dedicated scientists conducting research in southern Chile made a remarkable discovery, an extensive collection of bones belonging to an ancient, long-extinct species known as ichthyodores. These creatures first emerged approximately 251 million years ago during the Triassic period, which predates the appearance of dinosaurs by 20 million years, when one examines these fossils, it becomes apparent why they have often been likened to fish lizards, a fitting description considering the species' fascinating characteristics. The significant find took place within the breathtaking Toads del Piney National Park, nestled within the Patagonia region. Unearthed thanks to glacial melting, the Asura skeletons represent nearly 50 remarkably intact fossils. Among the remains, researchers had the privilege of encountering male and female ichthyosaurs, along with the incredible discovery of some preserved embryos. Adding even more excitement to this extraordinary finding, the scientists managed to recover soft tissue samples, offering an incredibly rare opportunity to glean insights into the biology of these ancient marine reptiles. Over a mere hundred days, an impressive 46 specimens were already identified, raising the tantalizing question, how many more remain waiting to be explored within the same geological formation? The implications of this discovery are vast, as it provides a thrilling window into the prehistoric past and the evolution of life on our planet. As researchers continue their meticulous study of these fossilized remnants, Humanity stands on the brink of unraveling even more mysteries about the distant eras that shaped the world we know today. The Graveyard of Fish Lizards stands as a testament to the perseverance and dedication of those committed to unlocking the secrets of the Earth's ancient history. And with each new revelation, the story of our planet becomes more captivating and awe-inspiring than ever before. Number 2. The Preserved Dinosaur Long ago, in the ancient realms of our planet's history, powerful dinosaurs once roamed the land. Though now vanished from our world, the marvels of modern technology have gifted us with the ability to visualize and replicate their forms. Nevertheless, uncertainties have arisen regarding the accuracy of the illustrations we presently encounter. However, a truly extraordinary and awe-inspiring breakthrough has recently emerged, offering us the unique opportunity to observe an actual dinosaur seemingly preserved in a timeless embrace. In the year 2011, miners stumbled upon an immense and exceptionally well-preserved dinosaur spanning an impressive 18 feet in length. This remarkable creature belonged to the Notosaurs, a cousin group to the armored and tank-like Ankylosaurus. The protruding spikes and intricate scales adorning its back remained intact, providing invaluable insights into its ancient anatomy. Beyond the staggering creature itself, this momentous discovery has also bestowed upon us glimpses into the environmental conditions that prevailed over a hundred million years in the past. During that ancient era, what is now known as Alberta basked in a significantly warmer climate akin to today's South Carolina and was enveloped by the waters of a shallow inland seaway stretching from the Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic Ocean. 
It is believed that this poor not osor met its fate by drowning in the seaway, only to find its final resting place in a secure and frigid crevice, preserving its form across a eons. Despite its intimidating appearance, the non osour was, in fact, an herbivore, subsisting solely on a plant-based diet. Much like the modern armadillo, its scaly armor offered robust protection against the sharp-toothed advances of carnivorous predators that relentlessly hunted these magnificent beings. Throughout the annals of human creativity, various works of fiction have dared to envision the reanimation of these majestic creatures. Yet, we can safely assert that if they were to resurface in the present age, we would undoubtedly find ourselves wholly outmatched by their awe-inspiring might. Such is the saga of our planet's ancient past, a tale of resilience, discovery, and the eternal allure of those enigmatic giants, the dinosaurs. Number 1. Mountain Climber Finds Hundred Precious Jewels In the year 2013, Amidst the breathtaking landscapes of Chamonix, a mountain climber stumbled upon an extraordinary treasure hidden within the malt block, an enigmatic metal box adorned with a trove of exquisite jewels. Among the dazzling gems were lustrous rubies, mesmerizing sapphires, captivating emeralds, and an array of other opulent pieces of jewelry, their combined value reaching hundreds of thousands of dollars. It may sound like a tale spun from the realms of fiction, but this was, in fact, a true and extraordinary event. The climber's astounding discovery, however, sparked numerous intriguing questions about its mysterious origin. The metal box was found nestled in the midst of the French Alps, specifically on the perilous Boston's Glacier of Mont Blanc, an unlikely location for such precious and valuable items to be concealed. Demonstrating admirable honesty and integrity, the climber made a conscientious decision to entrust the precious findings to the authorities. The unveiling of this extraordinary find prompted meticulous investigations by the authorities, leading to the formulation of a plausible theory. The experts believed that the jewelry box might be connected to a harrowing tragedy that unfolded on July 24, 1966, a fateful day when an Air India plane carrying 117 passengers from Mumbai to New York met with a disastrous end in the very same region. The prevailing belief was that the box could have belonged to one of the ill-fated flight's passengers, yet concrete evidence to support this hypothesis remained elusive, shrouding the discovery in an aura of mystique. Remarkably, this was not the first instance of uncovering significant artifacts in the area linked to the ill-fated flight. Over the years, authorities had stumbled upon various remnants from the crashed aircraft scattered across the frozen mountainous terrain. The frozen memorabilia included tools, poignant letters, worn-out shoes, tattered cables, and poignant fragments of the plane's structure. In the midst of these discoveries, even the discovery of human remains added a somber dimension to the narrative. Outro. Which of these frozen finds do you think has the most potential for future scientific breakthroughs? Let's know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.